All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is October 31st. Happy Halloween. We got game number four of the 2023 World Series here between the Diamondbacks and the Texas Rangers. We're going to jump into this game. We're going to break it down. I'll talk about it. I'll give you a couple of leans. I'll also give you a few player props that I'm locking in in this game already here. Last night, we do have a positive night, a winning positive, positive night. We go two and one. We shall. I'll take it. We had the Texas Rangers on the money line that cashes. And then Geraldo Perdomo, uh, Perdomo over 0.5 bases. I know that's not indicated there. The only thing that we didn't hit was Adolis Garcia over one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs. But again, we'll take the two and one night. Let's run it back tonight. Do something similar here uh, because as you guys may or may not know, MLB regular season, we absolutely crushed. We slaughtered. We're kind of getting slaughtered in the playoffs, right? We're just treading water, which, uh, you know, even if we go two and two one night or three and three, like you're losing a little off the top. So we've definitely dropped a handful of units in the playoffs, but it's nice to see a positive in the green night last night there. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into this game. This is a tough one because I think everyone in their grandmother is going to think, oh, the Diamondbacks are going to e uh, even this one up, which is kind of what I thought initially when waking up and breaking uh, down and taking notes on this game. Like I was like, oh, obviously, Arizona has been winning when they need to win, right? Today, I'm not so, uh, not so sure. Andrew Heaney on the mound for Texas. He's been okay um, in the playoffs. Uh, he's been pitching pretty well, just not pitching deep into games. But on the mound for Arizona here, we have uh, Joe Mantiply, which uh, is an opener. So tough to judge him. He has been opening fairly successfully. He's only allowed one run in four opens this season. He did open against the Rangers back in August, allowed one hit, um, didn't even make it through the entire inning. Those zero earned runs, uh, only through seven pitches. So it's tough to go off of that. I wish we had sort of hitter versus starter uh, data to go off of here, but this has been a pretty good Diamondbacks bullpen, so I don't hate the move for them to kind of uh, go in this direction. They're obviously thinking, you know, we got to switch some things up and, and roll with this, so I don't hate the mindset. I just think everyone's going to be on the Diamondbacks, which makes me pull away a little bit and lean towards Texas. I just think they have the better offense. If you look at the numbers, yes, you're going to say, well, Arizona's batting, you know, has, has, a, has a better, uh, maybe better average, right, or a better um, uh, on-base percentage, but this is a Texas team that scores runs when they hit the ball, if that makes sense. Like, this is not, uh, and I've been saying it for weeks now, right? I don't know why it's hard to get through to people. Like, this isn't an average hitting team. Like, this isn't a team that's going to hit for average. It's a team that's going to uh, go out there and hit home runs and hit extra base hits uh, in their last five years, averaging 2.2 home runs per game, averaging 2.2 extra base hits per game. So kind of in the same line there. Uh, I just think the offense gets to this Diamondbacks bullpen, which hasn't been or wasn't very great in the regular regular season, right? They've stepped up just like Texas, but they've stepped up in the postseason, which obviously it's about timing and when you get hot, but I just think that that fades a little bit today. And if they're going to rely on that bullpen, I think Texas gets to them. So I'm going to lean towards Texas here, minus 110 on the money line. Keep an eye on the pinned comment to see what we ultimately roll with. I'm putting my trust in, uh, he need to go out there and at least just keep this Arizona team down um, in terms of scoring a bunch of runs. His last start against Arizona came in early May, uh, which is obviously earlier in the year, but still six earned runs through four and two thirds pitched, averaged 20 pitches per inning, let up three home runs. That's the guy we're betting on tonight. That's why I'm a little skeeved out to do it. But again, we're trying to fade the public here and just kind of find the angle in which uh, this is a Texas offense. I'm not I'm not necessarily saying that Heaney's going to go out there and shut out Arizona. I just want him to tame them. Keep them, you know, through his four innings to maybe one or two runs. Let Texas go out there and take advantage on the offensive end. Now, guys, let's go ahead and jump into our player prop portion of the video. Before we do that, I do want to shout out a launch we have over on the fade me store it's coming on november 15th um very very limited very exclusive we only printed a few of these but it is the tie-dye dunk perfect timing for basketball season here really cool design comes in a couple colors three different silhouettes make sure you guys go check it out fade me dot store again november 15th if you guys do want to pick that up let's jump into my player props that i'm liking for today's slate here 
and I will jump into Outlier for this, guys. If you don't know what Outlier is, everything I'm using in this tool here, you guys will be able to get for seven days free if you choose with the link in the pinned comment. After that, it's $19.99 a month, which if used correctly, you guys can profit with easily. But first one we're looking at here is gonna be Marcus Simeon over 0.5 singles. Uh, his bases line is one and a half, right? A, a little bit too high for me. His hits runs, RBIs, uh, one and a half, but for juiced odds, I like his singles today here. Um, going up against a left-handed pitcher for the, uh, the starter obviously doesn't really matter as he's only probably gonna get one at bat against this guy but still uh, has a good chance of, of hitting a single here batting 283 against the uh, the right-handed or the left-handed side when it comes to pitchers but he's done this in five straight games I like the odds here as well bet MGM the only book that has this in the minus 130s DraftKings minus 140 Caesars minus 143 FanDuel all the way there at minus 165 so I like the value we're getting for Simeon over 0.5 singles as well it's gonna suck if he goes out there and goes deep or hits a double or specifically betting on the single that is where that value comes from but i like his spot here as well um bats really well against sinkers so mantiply is going to throw 42 percent or 41 percent sinkers here uh in terms of k percentage simians k percentage drops 12.5 and his woba jumps up to 475 i like the matchup against uh this here so a lot riding on that first at bat because who knows if they're going to go righty or lefty from the pen but nonetheless i still like simian uh to hit a single today second one here we're looking at another texas ranger um and this kind of goes against the money line play here as does our next player prop but i like andrew heaney allowing more than three and a half hits here for plus 135. Again, best odds over on DraftKings, but all the books are kind of in agreement here in the in the plus 130s or so. Um, in his last five, he's done this four straight times. Uh, Houston did it to him. Uh, that was obviously his playoff start. But what I like here is scrolling down. You could see that in their last 30 here, Arizona against left-handed pitchers, batting 10th for average, 12th in terms of K percentage, and two for hard hit percentage. And if he throws a lot of fastballs, which he does nearly 60% of his pitches being fastballs, balls look at the k percentage here is meaning a lot of balls are going to get in play right for arizona change a lot of green pops up there and the wobas jump only two players wobas are lower straight up than they are against the fastball so i'm loving that spot um even if he goes off speed to the change it doesn't look all that bad either give me andrew heaney allowing more than three and a half hits today the only thing that could probably stop this from hitting and i'll be completely honest and no pun intended with it hitting um is the fact that you know he could go out there and pitch three and two thirds or something like that right um short leash on this guy and it pretty much has been for the whole back half of the season and into the playoffs all right our last one here is gonna be sort of a lean because i'm trying to figure out what i want to do with this but i like tommy fam's spot here against andrew heaney today so um if we look at some stats so obviously i have this filter to home run right now for plus 680 i don't hate that as look at FanDuel being an outlier in the market plus 680 other books at plus 500 so we could sprinkle on his home run to be completely honest um but we'll lean that way for now. But what I really like is this home run for uh, per fastball percentage jumps all the way up to 22% here. Um, and Andrew Heaney, we just talked about it, throws 60% fastball. So I like this spot um, for, uh, you know, Tommy Pham. I also considered another plus money play here, looking at his total bases line over one and a half for plus 130. You can see other the books are kind of in line, but he's hit this in three straight games, crushed this in three straight games. And then the third thing that I'm looking at would be the safest of all hits plus runs plus RBIs. So um, in order of least likely to, to most likely, those are the three leans on Tommy Pham. Again, just due to the fact that I think this is a fairly good matchup. I think that he's uh, due against uh, Andrew Heaney. 11 plate appearances, only one hit, um, but not striking out a lot. So he's hitting the ball. I do think that he is due to uh, have a decent game here. Um, but keep an eye on the pinned comment. We'll update you guys in terms of what we actually end up rolling with with Tommy Pham, whether it's home runs, total bases, or hits, runs, or RBIs. And if you don't see it in the pinned comment, odds are we just stay to away from it altogether but i could tell you the simeon and the andrew heaney plays our final plays keep an eye on the pinned comments see if we do roll with texas on the money line and if we do roll with a tommy fam player prop but guys that's all i have for you today hope you guys did enjoy the video let me know what you guys are rolling with in the comments comment nine if you are a real one and you're watching and you want to prove you're not a damn guppy go ahead and comment nine but uh yeah we'll catch you guys in the next one right peace out